I want to go back to your mentor, Angelo. Uh Like, how much do you think that played into your life now? Because when I'm hearing you tell that story, I'm hearing somebody that taught you not only work ethic, like putting in the time and effort and the hustle, but also doing things the right way. At that age, seems to be incredibly valuable, like that you could carry that to anywhere you went in life. That doesn't mean that you would be a successful stockbroker necessarily, but like... So it was very, very impactful. Sometimes you're, there are situations where parents can love you very much and uh, they could try really hard. Yeah, yeah. But they can't get out of their way. And that happens. Mm-hmm. And I love them. And, you know, my mom has passed. My dad's 90 years old and still driving and he's fine and he's <laughs> but great health. But, and this isn't, I, in no way, shape, or form, my disrespecting my family, I'm just saying immigrants came to this country and had it so much better than they did abroad. And um, they did the best they could, but I needed, and I don't know where I got it from, but I had this desire to do better and to not live like that. And I was motivated by fear. So if I had not walked into Mr. Angelo's shop, I'm not sure I'd be on this podcast. I don't know. I I could have wound up anywhere. He got me off the streets. He gave me a skill that I still use to this day, as you know, big car guy. Got me into racing, which I've competed at the 24 hours of Daytona. I, I give a lot of credit to him for all of my successes and don't know where I would be. Maybe I'd be further along, I don't know, but he taught me something very special. Yeah. And I hope to pass that on to my kids. 